Hey there, welcome back to my channel. In previous video, we had written Python script to encode our shellcode with Zor operation. In this video, we write shellcode that decodes the shellcode and executes it. Let's get started. Check this Zor encoder Python script in description. I am using exec VE shellcode from my previous tutorial for this. You can download from Shellstorm website, place that shellcode in shellcode variable, and run this script. Now enter the value in hex format. Make sure that value is not in our exec VE shellcode. I am giving BB as encoding operand. Now you get the encoded shellcode. Copy that into our NASM file. Give a label shellcode. Now create text section which holds our code, now write our main program, like in my previous video, we use jump call pop technique in order to make reliable. Write short jump to decoder label. Now call to function, say temp, which decodes our shellcode. Now top of stack contains address of shellcode string, pop into any register, edi register, we use loop instruction as we need to do our operation on all bytes of shellcode, loop instruction use ecx register to loop over, make ecx register 0, now move length of shellcode into ecx register, we loop over until it becomes 0. Now perform bytes or between one byte of EDI, and with value we used for encoding, 0xbb, now increment EDI, it's like pointer to array, and we increment till the end, now name this small piece of code as label loop1. And now add loop instruction, this loop executes until all bytes of our shellcode has been successfully decoded, now we need to execute our shellcode, it's simple, make short jump to shellcode label, now compile, this is where I spent hours of time, you will get error with normal compilation, it's because we are writing a variable in text section, and we are modifying it, since text section is read only, you will get segmentation fault sig seg v, stating that you are not permitted to write, so what you gonna do is put an option in the ld command, this makes your text section, read write, now compile and run, 